Oh, this is a banger. My God, Chance. Get out of center. ASAP. Hello and welcome back to my channel. One of my favorite girl groups is back with their album Cabin Fever title track Sweet Juice. Sweet Juice, Purple Juice, as I said, I think, in the intro. Uh, if you want to see that reaction, I did that earlier today. I'll post that down below in the description. High hopes for this album. Love the concept. Uh, the bell hoppy, uh, unusual hotel look that they got going on. And I found out that this is actually the first title track that wasn't done in-house at Rainbow Ridge, I guess. So maybe something a little bit different from them. Something to spark that like mainstream popularity bubble basically they need to pop that bubble uh and we'll see if they can do it here uh please check out my patreon for the album reaction that'll be up over on there you can see all their previous albums i've reacted to on there along with variety shows reality stuff and apparently they've got a new one coming up and i plan on doing that as well because it's been a long time since they've had something like that let's get to it this is purple kiss with sweet juice let's go Room 315. Ooh. I do put a Don't Oh, no. Oh, no. What Holy shit, the backing orchestral instrumental is so good. The second part of the chorus is the most catchy. The way this like trills and rides up the scale. They're upping their choreography game huge with this comeback. This is a very mature comeback. Yes. The face screwed, what? Oh, this is a banger. My God, Chance. Get out of center. ASAP. Oh, 
the outfits, the looks in this video. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> go and go and perform this like this was the last comeback they'd ever get. Like her idol life was on the line. Oh, there's so much to get into. We're watching this at least one more time again. This is by far, I think, their most mature sounding title track that they've had. Like, yeah, you've got their debut kind of, it was, it was definitely mature sounding, but there's something about this that is like hitting the points that some Mamamoo songs do for me in, in that lane, but with the purple kiss DNA and identity all over the song. All over the song and all over the video for sure. Let's run this back one more time. At least, at least I might have to do it two more times. We'll pause more, we'll talk about it. I think this is the most approachable title track that they've had yet. Maybe like zombie, maybe, but I still think this is better for mainstream audiences, people that might not know them. This is a good in. Uh, I know that I said after Nerdy that that might have been my favorite uh, title track of theirs, but over time, it just hasn't stood up for me, and Zombie is still my favorite. This one, I I, I don't know. I, it's got it. It's, it's right up there. It's right up there with Zombie. Let's do it one more time at least because there's a lot in here, and they're serving like... There's a sexy style to this that I just was not expecting from them, to be honest. So the hotel really does seem like that shining inspired uh, type of haunted hotel. You even have a scene later on where Chan is doubled up like the twins in, uh, in The Shining. I don't care if it kills me. I'm ordering room service and getting that sweet juice. What? I need, oh, the full, I needed to see the full live stage, the full choreography. Do they start like this? They look dead? This looks so sick. Look how she's sprawled out like that. But then how do we get to, oh, that drop. Using their lower tones a lot in this song. That outfit is godlike. Oh, is it like red rum? Uh, maybe not. Salir. That's what that would be. Red rum from Shining. Also, just murder. Very. I mean, Stephen King, a genius with that. But uh, <laughs> sorry, I like Stephen King. But uh, I don't know what that might mean. Salir. They certainly use a lot of Spanish usually. This slide, intoxicating but sexy too, and then so breathy. Pop it. Illegal. Yeah, there she is, doubled up. One thing I really love about this song, too, is that it doesn't really get explosive at any point, but it has the impact as if it did. No one's belting out like crazy. They don't have Swan going nuts. Everyone stays kind of in that in that lower range and it's very like it lulls you in that's their power they don't really gotta do that hold up hold up I, also i haven't really been paying attention to the lyrics there's too much to see yuki go off Ooh. Seriously, the choreo game is just—they raised the bar. 
That vocal slide is that that the choreo is real good. I don't know you know if that's supposed to be like uh oh I might have skipped it uh, like a psycho reference maybe the bathtub I don't know maybe not. So is it this from the woman that we saw in the concept trailer that checks out of room 315? Is it supposed to be that this mysterious woman checked in and cursed the, the hotel, I guess? And now everyone is feeling the effects of that in some shape or form? Love it, tasty. Is this is this how they got their witchy powers? Prequel? That's as much as Swan goes off. Uh, maybe this is like a prequel, and this is like a her not tormenting them, but maybe recruiting them in some way. Like this is like answer the call, taste my sweet juice, and get witchy powers. Oh, what did that say? Silverware. Gotta watch out for that. Oh, it says it again. I gotta look. I gotta look that up. Do you want some sweet juice? Absolutely. Yes. Run, sweet juice. That look. Dude, she came! To kill people! Back to back. This is dangerous. No, dude, this is their best title track. Like, my god. And I'm firm on this one. Go and lost her goddamn mind. at the end is so cool ah now the phone is finally purple it was like all different colors and now it's finally purple this has to be meant to be some kind of prequel oh oh i love it so much i where i want to do it one more time i i i, I feel like it's required but first i want to look up um what that means? Ah, I was putting it in wrong. I was putting it in wrong. So it means go out, uh, which is why she says run, and why there's those outdoor uh, performance scenes and where it finally finishes with them outside and the, the telephone. So it really is, you know, to leave or to go out is the meaning behind it. Uh, and it really does seem to be like this uh, initiation. Uh, and I, I I really like it. We'll, we'll do it one last time. It, there's so many things, there's so many highlights, so many things to like about this. It makes me very happy. It's like, while I really enjoyed Ponsonia, I think there are parts of it that make it not fully digestible. It's got, it's got just a bit oddity to it. This is just so much more seamless. I think it's going to do well for them. I really do. So this is her checking the room after the woman checked out. This is worth three times. Like, if an MV was worth three times. Jane's got buns. She's got buns. I'm out of control. 
Madness in me that was sleeping. Time to wake up. Oh. Really like this melody. It's never going to get easy to watch that. But what is burning like a flame and then they're like taking a picture? Is there some... Do witches burn when you take their photo? I don't think that's a thing. That's not a... What? It looked like they were snapping a photo. They contort their bodies in a very abnormal way sometimes. Maybe they needed to go to some other producer. Uh, it's working. There she is. There she is. I love the, those bows on Ida. Smiley balloons. What is the form of this juice? What is what is the vessel of the juice? Uh, it's popping. You're biting it. What is it coming? What's the form? I don't know. And this orchestral mix is is so pretty, but it also is constantly like at some precipice, like like of of a, of a climax. Like this tension is building up, but you don't get that like vocally in this song. It's so smooth and kind of sexy and and silky throughout. So you have that like little juxtaposition. It's very like regal. I, I like that a lot. I love a a very regal ornate type uh concept. And these outfits have been some of the best they've ever had. Oh, and how this shot here. Perfect with the piano. What is the room that Yuki is in? She Is she in... It's like she's in that same it almost looks like she's in that same exact hotel room but it's almost like of some different world do you want some sweet shoes this is where going snaps he snaps Back to back attacks. I like this, this choreography. No time to think about this and that. Oh, I feel like Dosi didn't really get a big highlight in this video. Oh, I was going to say first time that Yuki outros, but she actually doesn't. Uh, amazing, man. Amazing. I I love this so goddamn much. It has me so hyped for the album. 
the first two albums that uh, that Purple Kiss put out are are like some of my favorites. There, there's like no misses on those. I honestly thought that um, their last one was a little uh, had had some not misses but just less big hits uh as i'm used to with them so i'm hoping we're totally back on track here with cabin fever i'm going to be checking that out over on patreon please join me over on there and we'll see any live stages or variety things they put out supposedly they have some kind of new reality variety thing coming with a handful of episodes we will be doing that there's already plenty up right now subscribe if you are new like this video if you enjoyed it what did you think of this song where do you rate it in their title track tier list let me know thank you guys so much and i'll see you next time